Good day, folks. Welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan, and today we're gonna configure the DHCP, and it's gonna be with a security appliance and Max on the dashboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna access the Miraki dashboard. We're gonna go to two different places. The first place that we're gonna go is to the security and SD1 addressing at VLANs. Over there, we're gonna see the different addressing at VLANs that we have configured. We're gonna select one to enable the DHCP service. After that, we're gonna go to security and SD1 DHCP. We're gonna select the VLAN that we're gonna use to select it. And then we're gonna go enable it and reserve some IP addresses. So it's as easy as it sounds. So let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. In this opportunity, what we're going to do is configure the DHCP server in our security appliance. In order to do so, we enter into a dashboard Meraki portal now and we're going to go through the network. The first thing that we're going to do is go into the security appliance addressing and VLANs in order to know which VLANs we have and then which some that we're going to use to configure our DHCP server. Going down here, you will see that we have three different subnets. The one that we're going to use for the DHCP server to be enabled is going to be the VLAN 10, the 10.10.10.0.24, the server's VLAN. Now that we identified which VLAN we're going to use, we're going to go to the DHCP tab. It's security and SD1, DHCP option. Here you're going to find that the, we have the three VLANs configured in the same place as the other standard VLANs in order to enable the DHCP server in this VLAN 10. We just have to go to the drop down and run the DHCP server. Here you can see that we have several options. Normally it's the least time. You can change it from 30 minutes all the way to one week. Now we're gonna leave it as one day for today. The DNNM servers that you can have, you have the several, several options. We're gonna leave it as a use Google public DNS and the different boot options here. You can enable it and put a specific next server or file name. And this time we're gonna leave it disable and add any specific options that you wanna add. You have some specific numbers here, but you can use any custom DHCP options in this field. Now, today we're gonna reserve some specific IP address during this range. So what we're gonna add is 10.10.10.2 two and 10 10 10 dot 30 and that's gonna be our servers IP addresses if you want to add specific IP address to match or bind that with a specific MAC address of device you can do so here after making all these changes to save it just right click Save and this VLAN 10 is configured with DHCP. To disable it, you have to go back, do not respond, and save the changes. And as you were able to see, it's very easy to configure a DHCP service with the security appliance of AMX. Right now, if you have any questions or any doubts or if you have any comments, please put it down below so I can help you out to find any answer that you may need. Additionally, I'm going to put in the comments some documentations that you can find in the documentation portal from Meraki if you need any special requirements that you might need. So anything that you need, that's what we're here for. So that's how you configure the DHCP in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.